All right, in this lesson, we're going to learn about reflections of geometric shapes. So reflection, again, if you think about it in real life, so you're in the mirror, you're looking at yourself in a mirror, and if you waved your right hand, the reflection is actually, if you were your reflection, it's waving its left hand. So whatever the shape is or whatever you're doing, it does the opposite. So in a reflection geometry, when we reflect the figure, it's going to be the same shape, same size, but it's going to be the opposite of what it looks like through the mirror. And again, from our perspective, we're looking at the graph. It's like, imagine yourself if you were looking uh, from the sky, like directly down on top of the uh, objects. So we're going to, ref it's like you're looking down the mirror, and you could see both sides of the mirror. So you're looking down from the sky, you're going to know where the mirror is, and you're going to see, be able to see both sides of the mirror. Okay? In this example, it says reflect over the x-axis. Okay, so first of all, you need to know where the x-axis is. Now, I always, I always forget myself, so how I remember is I say the letter x, and my mouth goes from left to right, it gets wider. So it reminds me that the x-axis is right there in the middle. That's the x-axis line right there. And when we do reflections, that is going to be called our mirror. So meaning, I have to find out how many units it takes to get from each point to the mirror, and then go that same distance away from the mirror. Okay, so for A, which is at 2 comma negative 3, I count 3 units to the mirror, 1, 2, 3. That means from my mirror on the other side, I count 3 units, 1, 2, 3. And that is where A prime goes. So notice how it's the same exact distance from the mirror as the original shape was. All right, let's go to B. B is at 4 comma negative 5. It takes me 5 units to get up to the mirror, so that means I need to go 5 units above the mirror. And that's where B prime is going to go. And C down there at the bottom at 2 comma negative 5, it also takes 5 units to get to the mirror. So I need to go 5 units above the mirror, and that is where C prime will go. And so we'll draw my new triangle. And notice it's the same size, same shape, but notice how it's the opposite. It is reflected over the mirror. And so that is how you do a reflection. And the reflection will change based on... Uh, it will tell you where the mirror is. So sometimes it might be the y-axis. Sometimes it may be x equals 1 or y equals negative 2. So wherever the mirror is, that's what you need to find first. And then you simply count how many units it takes to get from the point to the mirror and then copy it on the other side of the mirror. 